In this Excel tutorial, I will show you the quickest and easiest way to summarize your data in charts and how to incorporate these charts in a report in Word or a presentation in PowerPoint, for instance. Now, this spreadsheet is a rainfall summary over the years 2016 to 2020, and what it does is it totals the month's rainfall there and then averages it over the five years. So that's the total over the five years and that's the average over the five years. Now the first thing you have to do is decide what data you want in your chart. And in this case, I want to find out which is the best month to plant my wheat so that uh, there's good rainfall when I plant it and that the rainfall carries on for a few months so that I get a good crop. So all I'm interested in is the months and the average rainfall for those months. So the first thing you do is select the data you want. So I'll select the months. Now because it's not adjacent to the average, I've got to press control and then drag across again to select the averages. So now I've selected the data that I want in my charts. Now to get to charts, you go at the top here and you press insert, and there you'll have all your options for charts. You can either click recommended charts, which then will give you some options of charts, but I prefer not to do that. I prefer to select the kind of chart I want. And in this case, I want a column chart. So we'll click on column charts and that gives us all our options there. And I particularly like the 3D column chart. So I'm gonna select this one. We don't have to get too worried about colors or style or anything at this stage, because we are gonna go on and modify this chart until we're happy with it. So now we're getting a few more options. And if you hover on each option, you'll see your chart changes to whatever style that is. And if you go until you find something you like, I don't like any of those. I quite like that one. I think we'll take that one. And then I always go in a sequence. The next thing I do is to click a quick layout, and that gives me some options as well. I like to have the average for each month written above the column for that month, like that. And I know exactly what the average is for that month in terms of millimeters. So that's quite a good one. I'll select that one. Again, you don't have to get too worried about style yet. Now, we can add elements. This is the next thing I go to, is to add elements. We go there, and uh, we'll want a title for the chart, so we'll put that in. I'll just leave it as a box for the moment. And then uh, the axes also need to be pulled in. So there we've got boxes for those. Now, if you have your title on your spreadsheet already, the easiest way to put it on your chart is to highlight your title, right click, copy, then come to your chart title, highlight that. Now, if you right click, it doesn't give you the option to paste. So what I do is just press enter, and there we go. And in the usual way, you can say, oh, that might be a bit big, so let's uh, reduce the font size a bit. There we go, that's good. And I might want to change the color as well. So the usual way of doing it, I'll do that. That looks quite nice. And then uh, when we get to the axes, uh, this one I'll call month. So you type in month. Nothing appears until you press enter. There we go. And same on the side here. This will be millimeters. Press enter and then it appears. So there we have our basic chart. Now, if you lose your 
options here. Just go back to chart tools at the top here and click design. And the next thing I do is fiddle with the colors. So we can go there, find a color that might, that's quite nice. So just double click there and that gives you a change in the color. So that's nice. The other thing you can do is click on your chart. And if you double click, you get this toolbar appearing on the side here. And with this toolbar, you can, for instance, add a border. So let's add a border. We'll put a solid line border, um, color. We'll leave it at white because it's a dark chart around the borders. And then if we click there now, you can see there's the, the border. So that looks quite nice. And then if you click on the chart again, the other thing you can do is fiddle with the, with the color of the chart. So you go to fill and then you could do perhaps a gradient fill. There we go. Um, and then you can fiddle with this slider depending on what you're looking for. So you could do something like that. And eventually if you're happy with your chart, move it to the side and what I'm going to do now is I'm happy with that chart but I also want another chart uh, a pie chart which will give me percentage rainfall over the month so again I go to insert I find I'm going to this time do a pie chart so we go there I like a 3d pie chart so we'll click on that so there we have a basic pie chart now we can fiddle and try and find one that uh, we quite like the shape of. I do. I must say, not like that one. So we'll take that one. Then we'll go to our layout. I want to try and find one that puts percentages in for me. That's quite good. There's each month with the percentage rainfall. So we'll take that one. And then we'll again we've got a chart title there, but just put the chart title in. So I'll right click copy, click on there, highlight, and all you do is enter. And there we go. Um, I'll change the color there just to give us something a bit more exciting. go and then uh, we can put a border in again happy with that so we can put that one aside now yeah if say you wanted to incorporate these into a word document you can leave them on this original spreadsheet as well we'll just reduce the size a little we could just Them at the bottom like that and there you'd have a summary of all the months and let's say you wanted to plant when you had good solid rainfall so you probably plant in about April where the rainfalls quite good and it carries on for a few months so that you can get a decent crop so if we wanted to put these in a PowerPoint or a Word document just right click copy uh, let's try a word document first and paste and that's it here we are we've got it in a you can put it in a report like that or uh, if you had a powerpoint uh, let's say it was a rainfall summary you open up a new slide by control m right click and paste and there we go there's our rainfall summary uh, in our powerpoint presentation now if you enjoyed this video please like and share and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so and if you'd like to leave us a comment we'd love to hear from you just scroll down to the bottom of the video and you'll find the comment section there thank you very much for watching